Hi, I'm Kevin Eikenberry, and I'm here to help you reach your potential as a leader and a human being. Welcome to Remarkable TV. Today we're talking about focusing on accomplishment. Are you ready? Let's get started. Today is the fifth in a series of eight videos based on a blog post that I wrote entitled Eight Ways to Be a Better Employee in 2018. And these eight videos, including today, will apply to us in 2018, 2019, or whenever. They'll also apply to us both as leaders and as employees. So whether you, if you come here as a leader, you might want to think about wearing your leader hat for this conversation, but you can also put your employee hat on because you are both an employee and a leader. And not only will these ideas help you individually, they'll help you model the right kinds of behaviors for your employees. So how about today's? Here we go. More accomplishment, less activity. You know, today people are all busy. In fact, people wear the word busy like a badge of honor. How are you doing? Well, I'm busy. Oh yeah, I know what you mean. And like everyone wants to talk about being busy, we're busy. But see, the whole idea behind busy is it's all about activity, isn't it? When people are talking about being busy, they're not talking about what they're getting done. They're just talking about that they're doing a lot of stuff. The, the conversation for us today is to think about what are we actually accomplishing, not what are, how much time we're spending at it. Busy isn't a badge of honor. Activity shouldn't be our focus. Our focus should be on accomplishment. So let me give you three things today that you can do to help do that. Number one, focus on what needs to get done. Focus on what you need to accomplish. So when you are thinking about what is going on, like what's important, what, do I, what has to be accomplished? You do this on certain days. You do this the day before your vacation when you got all these things that have to get done. Like I gotta get this done and this done and this done and this done and this done. And you might have been busy, but the reality was that you were getting things done. Focus on accomplishment. Focus on what needs to get done. Next, make lists of accomplishments, not activities. Now with my team, does a weekly report uh, that they share, we share across the rest of the team. That's what we talk about. Here's things that have been accomplished. Not just, well, I did this, this, not just the activities, but like this was finished, this was finished, this was done. And if we can focus on accomplishments, we're far better off. And in fact, I would also say this, if you're making your to-do list, make it based on what needs to be accomplished based on, rather than on activities. That alone will change the game for you. Okay, and then lastly, and if you just did this last one, it would make all the difference for you, and that is determine a key th thing to accomplish each day. And you may say, Kevin, only one? Yeah, like if, what's one key thing? What's one important thing? If I got this one thing done today, then I can say that I had a successful day. Other things are gonna get in the way. You're gonna have a bunch of activities, I realize. But what are the accomplishments that you need? What are the one, two, or three things that you must accomplish today that will make a difference for the day, for the week, for the team, for the goal, for the project, whatever. What's a key thing that I must do today? Not that I must accomplish today. And if we do that, if we do all three of these things, we'll be focused much more on what we're accomplishing than on the activity and on the busyness of our day. If we do all those things, we'll get more done uh, and we'll have more success. Let me close with today's tweet. Worry less about being busy. Think more about what? you are accomplishing. Every week right here, I've just said that this is the fifth in a series of eight videos, so you might wanna go back and watch the others if you haven't, but did you know that you could get a note every week letting you know that the next episode has arrived? Yep, all you gotta do is subscribe right here to the Remarkable TV list, and we'll make sure you get an update every week when the new one comes out. Wouldn't that be great? Yes, it would. And if you do that, I can be assured that you'll see me on the next episode of Remarkable TV.